Hello friends, I'm Chris. I'm from Transformation Nation Yoga and Wellness. And this is your 20 minute sun salutation breath body practice. Now, if you're a seasoned yogi, you may or may not need this guidance at all. Sometimes I find it's nice just to, to be led, to relax and let somebody else worry about the instructions so you can just practice and breathe. If you're new to yoga, um, I'm co-releasing with this an anatomy of a sun salutation mini workshop. So it might be time well spent for you to go through that um, sequence. But that being said, I also think you are just fine jumping directly into this breath body practice. Um, I'll be cueing with every pose that we, we go through. Now, one of the things that I wanted to let you know about is I'm going to start with five gentle sun salutations. Um, when I cue to move on, if your body doesn't want to move on, if your body likes the gentle sun salutations, there's no reason in the world you couldn't just continue doing the gentle sun salutations. So this is your breath body practice we're talking about. Make it fit your body instead of shoehorning your body into some kind of other practice the way that you think it is supposed to be. So what I think you'll need to be safe and to enjoy your practice is a yoga mat, such as what I have behind me, and one, or better yet, two yoga blocks. So pause your recording, roll out your mat, grab your blocks, and when you're ready, press play, and I'll meet you on your mat. All right, friends, let's get started with our practice. So um, to begin with, the practice is going to be done, this movement will be done in tandem with the breath. And the breath that I'm going to cue you for in Sanskrit is called Ujjayi, it means victorious. Um, so what I'd like you to do, take your right hand, place it up in front of your face, exhale through your mouth as if your hand was a mirror and you're fogging a mirror with your breath. Now notice that little constriction of the same muscles you use to whisper at the base of your throat. Now keep your mouth closed, same breath, fogging up the mirror with your breath, but through your nose. Good. All right. Now maintain that same constriction as you inhale through the nose. And then as you exhale through the nose. And that is it, friends. So it'll be an ocean wave sound for both the inhale and the exhale. Now, if your sinuses are clogged and you can't breathe through your nose, you could breathe through your mouth. But if you have any choice, in general, the mouth is for eating, the nose is for breathing. I'd really like you to breathe through your nose. All right, so come down onto your mat. So we're gonna start out with a child's pose. So take your knees out nice and wide, maybe full mat width apart. Bring your big toes together to touch, press the tops of your feet down into the earth, grab a block, station it under your body, Reach your arms out over your head. Start pressing your seat back towards your heels. And then you could place the block under your heart or your forehead. If you easily and naturally come down and settle on the mat, set the block apart. You don't need it. Right, so be a little bit cautious with the poses that have these really friendly, accessible names, like they're named after a fluffy animal or some version of what we call a small human being. Just, just because it's called child's pose doesn't mean it's, it's easy or restful for everybody, right? It's gonna depend body to body. If you lost that ujjayi breath, come back to that ujjayi breath. Now lift up onto the tips of your fingers. Like with your hands, you were protecting the most precious cupcakes ever. Walk your fingertips forward toward the top edge of your mat, and then set the palms of your hands down again. And then on your next inhale, I'd like you to rock forward into a modified high plank. So knees hip distance apart, shoulders floating over your knees. Leave your hands, arms, shoulder width apart as you lower down to your belly. And then leave your hands under your shoulders, pull the heels of your hands back towards your waist, peel your heart up off the earth, tweeze your elbows in towards your waist, press the shoelace parts of your feet into the earth, easy cobra. Exhale, lower your heart down to the earth, press up through tabletop into child's pose. All right, now we're gonna speed things up, one breath for movement. Inhale, rock forward, modified high plank. 
Exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale, open your heart, easy cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, modified high plank. Exhale, down to your belly. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, child's pose. All right, so we're going to move on from these gentle suns. But if this feels pleasing, this is what your body wants. You keep moving through the same flow. Inhale, come forward into a tabletop shape, floating your shoulders over your wrists, floating your hips over your knees. But note, if you get compression in your wrists, take your hands forward. That's fine. That'll change the angle in your wrists in a way that favors your body. On an inhale, tuck your toes under your feet. Exhale, press your hips up and back. Find a downward facing dog. And right away, start making some movements in your lower body that warm you. That could look like pedaling the feet out. It might look like swaying the hips. Or sometimes I take the Achilles heel of one foot and I press it down with a webbing between the big toe and the second toe on the other foot. All right, now find stillness in your lower body. Let gravity draw your heels down toward the earth. But note, if you are tight in your hamstrings and your lower back, you should probably have a bend in your knees and maybe even a generous bend. Flatten your palms out on the earth. Press down into your index knuckle and thumb. Relax your neck. Now, drag your elbows down towards your mat by three quarters of an inch. Good. Tweeze them together as if you were squeezing a beach ball. Continue to breathe. Then on an inhale, bend your knees, look forward, exhale, take as many steps as you need to come up to the top edge of your mat into ragdoll, uttanasana, with your feet up to hip distance apart, with your whole belly resting in your thighs, maybe hands on blocks. If your lower back is tweaky, put hands on blocks, shift the weight into the balls of your feet, lighten the heels, and relax your neck. Now, if your back feels stable and secure, you can release the blocks, Maybe you grab opposite elbows and sway. Or maybe you interlace your hands at the base of your skull. It's totally up to you, friends. But relax your neck. Weight is in the balls of the feet. Generous bend in the knees. Release your hands down to the earth. Leave the bend in your knees. Shift the weight into your heels. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, find a halfway lift. So a long straight spinal column, but maybe a deep bend in the knees. If you have to choose between straight legs or a straight spinal column, I encourage you to choose a, a straight spinal column. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press down into your feet. Circle your arms up over your head. Exhale, slice your hands down into heart center. Set a soft gaze at the tips of your fingers. Set an intention for your practice. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, hinge into a forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, step back into high plank. So this is a high push-up position, right? So try to make a straight line from the back of your head down to the back of your heels. Now note there's a tendency in high and low plank for the forehead to cave down toward the earth. Counter that, make the back of your head buoyant. Engage your core, draw your belly button towards your spine, puff the space between your shoulder blades up toward the stars. That's it, friends. Inhale right here. Exhale, tap your knees down to the earth. Lower your heart down to the earth. Inhale, maybe easy cobra, or maybe you float your shoulders over your wrist, press the shoelace parts of your feet down into the earth. Let gravity draw your pubic bone down to the earth. This is upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend your knees, look forward, exhale, walk or step to the top edge of your mat. We'll start to speed things up a bit now. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up to standing. 
Exhale, draw your hands into heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, hinge into a forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, step back into high plank. This time from high plank on an inhale, rock forward on your toes, put your shoulders over your wrists. On an exhale, knees up or down, come halfway down, chaturanga. And then inhale, open your heart. So I'm going back to up dog, but you could do easy cobra, you could do sphinx pose here. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or step to the top edge of your mat. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into your feet, rise, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, lift your gaze. Look at your hands, exhale, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, step back into high plank. Inhale in high plank, exhale, low plank, come halfway down, knees up or down. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step or float to the top edge of your mat. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, slice your hands down into heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head, lift your gaze, look at your hands, or press your hips forward toward the top edge of your mat. Take a little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale in high plank, exhale, low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, downward facing dog, draw in a deep life affirming breath. Hold it at the top. And in fact, I'd like you to sip in even more air. And then as you exhale, release it through your mouth, make a ha sound. And then bend your knees, look forward, exhale, walk, step, or float to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sit back into chair pose, Utkatasana. Feet can be together, they could be hip distance apart. I'd like your spinal column to be straight. If it's straight, hands on your thighs are just fine. Or your hands could be a heart center. Or your fingers can reach for the stars, biceps frame your ears. Now shift the weight into your heels. Scoop your belly button towards your sternum, that's it. If your arms are extended over your head, press the bones of your arms further toward the back edge of your mat, good. Stay right here or only if you want more sensation, drop your seat another four inches. Good, you guys. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, excellent work. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, step back into high planks. Inhale in your high plank, exhale, low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right heel up toward the stars. Keep the toes turned down to face the earth and press through the heel of your right foot like you were stomping on the wall behind you. Relax your neck. Inhale, lift that right leg any amount higher. Exhale, step forward into warrior one. Replace your right hand with your right foot. Right toes at 12 o'clock, left toes at eight to 10 o'clock. Right away, start spreading the feet apart like you were tearing your mat in two. So ground down into all four corners of your right foot and the pinky edge blade and heel of your left foot. Your hands could be on that front thigh. They could be a heart center or your fingers can reach for the stars, biceps, frame your ears, right? So find a balanced level of energy in your hands. So I don't want dead fish hands. And I also don't want them over flexed, right? You know they're over flexed when the muscles in your hands, wrists, forearms start to fatigue really quickly. So something with a balanced level of energy right in the middle. Good work, friends. Lots of fire in the legs. Inhale right here. 
Exhale, release your hands down to the earth. Step your right leg back to meet your left. High plank. Inhale in high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right heel up toward the stars. Right, really engage that leg. Flex the toes on your left foot back towards your face. Inhale. Exhale, step your left leg forward. Rise up into Virapadrasana, warrior one. Bring your hands, place them on your hip points and square either your hips or your shoulders toward the top edge of your mat. And then any arm variation. Check in and just notice if you have muscular engagement and gripping any place that you don't need it. So likely candidates, the flesh around your eyes, your jaw, your neck and shoulders, maybe the belly. So inhale. Exhale, release your hands down to the earth. Step your left leg back to meet your right high plank. Now, get to down dog however you want. You can press directly there. You could also flow through a vinyasa at your own pace. That would be a high plank to a low plank. Any heart opener. And then downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale, move to the top edge of your mat. One breath per movement now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale in high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right heel up toward the stars. Exhale, step it forward, rise up into warrior one. Stabilize as you rise. Exhale, release your hands down to your mat, step back into high plank, and then you chart your own course to down dog. You get there in whatever way makes sense for you and your body. On an inhale, lift your left heel up toward the heavens. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Rise on your inhale. Exhale, release your hands down to the earth, high plank. And then you chart your own course into down dog. So in your chaturanga, the high to low plank, if you want to reduce sensation, do them on your knees. If you want to add sensation, lift the leg. You can make that adjustment each and every time. Bend your knees, look forward, and then move to the top edge of your mat. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale in high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right heel up toward the stars. Exhale, reach it forward, rise up into warrior one. And then release your hands down to the earth, high plank. Inhale in high plank, exhale low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left heel up toward the heavens. Exhale, warrior one. Rise on your inhale. Exhale, release your hands down to the earth. Step back to high plank. And then you get to down dog in whatever way makes the most sense for you and your body. You chart your own course. You are the architect of your experience, the captain of your own ship. On an inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale in high plank, exhale, low plank. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
On an inhale, bend your knees, look forward, exhale, walk, step or float to the top edge of your mat. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into high plank. Inhale and high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, any heart opener of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right heel up toward the stars. Exhale, warrior one. Rise as you inhale. Exhale, release your hands down to the earth. And then you make your own way into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left heel skyward. Exhale, rise into warrior one. Stabilize as you rise. Exhale, release your hands down to the earth. Step your left leg back to meet your right high plank. And then tap your knees. Down to the earth, walk your hands back toward your knees, sit back onto your heels. Great job, friends. Great job, friends. Again, I'm Chris. I'm from Transformation Nation Yoga and Wellness. And this was your 20 minute sun salutation breath body practice. You're doing great. Keep going.